was born. At Dark Siders 2, the story, at least, I'll tell you, it starts with uh, Death. It happens in parallel to the first game, timeline-wise, but Death is trying to figure out what happened to his brother, War, why he was wrongly accused of causing the apocalypse in the first game, and it deals with him going through the underworld and meeting a lot of different characters and trying to solve that mystery and solve it his own way. So Death's a different character than War. War, if you were to put it to a kind of archetype, he'd be the warrior type, brutish kind of guy and honorable, dealt with things by just doing it straight on. Death's uh, more willing to work behind the scenes. He's more roguish, agile. Combat-wise, a big difference where War could block. Death can't block, he dodges stuff. He's a lot more nimble and has a lot more fast moves than War did. Yeah, I think what we want to do is kind of create um, where the first game was epic because of what was going on with the apocalypse and all this stuff, whereas here we get to deal with a lot more fantasy world, so we're building epicness by kind of what you saw with, with size of scale, size of the world, so everything feels giant and important and big. So yeah, it, it, the Ghost Hook is kind of like one of those catch-all things that you can use in the game for traversal. If something's too far to reach, you don't get it right away, but you can like, you know, shoot it out to pull yourself towards stuff that's in the distance. And then in combat, if it's a smaller enemy, something about the same size as you, latch onto them to pull them down or pull them towards you. But if it's a big enemy, then you kind of launch up towards them. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's going to be about the same mix, like between platforming, traversal, puzzle, and combat. I, I'd say I'd say relatively the same mix because um, I, that's what everybody loves. So yeah, we're trying to keep it uh, you know on the same level. Yeah, buy Darksiders 2. It's going to rule, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you.